Praise the Lord. Praise 
praise the Lord. Great things he has done. But Jesus, praise the Lord. Jesus, so many things happening to me, but you know, I just give God the glory that He brought me out of our right. Mm-hmm. And I can stand here this morning to just give up His holy name yeah. and praise Him. Praise Him, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. As we just sang, the God prevails. Praise Him. Yes. Jesus Christ, God prevails. Yeah. Because of His God, praise God. He wash us and praise mm-hmm. us. Praise Him, Lord. Come and say, thank God for His name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord.
break it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it. Amen. Hallelujah. Absolutely. 
and the Jebusites. Now therefore, behold the cry of the children of Israel has come unto me. I have also seen the oppression of the Egyptians as oppressed them. Come now therefore, and I will send you on to fear that thou mayst bring forth my people and, my, and the children of Israel out of Egypt. And Moses said unto the Lord, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, and I should bring before the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee when thou bringest forth for the children of the people out of Egypt. He shall serve God in this mountain. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, I shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you. And they shall say unto me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am ascend to you, ascend to you. Praise Father, we thank you, we praise you, we bless you.
There is blood contaminating Jesus' blood. It could be totally saved. There was no contamination. His blood was pure. His blood was pure, spotless, sinless. Every man that was born from Adam who were born in sin and shaped in his All the prophets that, that came along were born in sin and shaped in Jesus Christ is the only one whose blood was pure. He was a spotless lamb. And that's the only sacrifice that can be accepted. That is the only sacrifice that could save us. So Moses said, What shall I tell the children of Israel? What name? What name? And that is God said, I am that I am. But before then, I was known to my patriots, Abraham. Isaac and Jacob is God Almighty. So now we are in a time and a dispensation where we have to realize the name of Jesus. Many people are not afraid to expound the fact that Jesus is God. There is no desire. He is God. He did so many great works. Imagine. No prophet or patriot of all could lay down their life and pick it up again. No patriot, no man, from the beginning to the end, no man can take up their own life. But Jesus says, no man takes my life. I give up my life so I can take it up again. You see, the thing is that when we understand this thing, we can't put Jesus in our no second place. Jesus is not in our no second place. Jesus is it. He is the bread. He is the bread. Bread. The church is the bread. When Jesus comes, he's coming for his bread. Amen. And so we will never be with the Lord. Amen. In the case of baptism, when Jesus gave the commission, he said, Go to all the world, preach the gospel, and baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Now we know for sure, he said, In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. We know for sure that the Father is not a name, it's a title. Son is not a name, it's a title. Holy was not a name. But he said to them, teach them to observe all that I have commanded you. And when we look at the scripture, and if you read the Acts of the Apostles, when they baptized, they baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Because they knew there was one God. And I know he was in. Read the Acts of the Apostles. They baptized them in the name of the Lord Jesus. They spoke to the name of Jesus. And I say that in this dispensation that we are in, his name is Jesus. The Bible says, The name shall be called Jesus because he shall save his people from their sin. And so, there was a time when Peter and John were going to think the hour of prayer. And they saw the lame man who sat at the gate begging an arm. And Peter looked upon him and said to him, Silver and gold. By now. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 
The name. to 
the power of Jesus, heal them, lay man. Let us caution them that they should not speak anymore in the name of Jesus. But Peter, the same Peter who denied Jesus, the same Peter who Jesus said before the God called twice a shall deny the trust. The same Peter. Peter was bold. This is why it is important that the people of God get the Holy Ghost. It is important because he said to them, Ye shall receive the power after that the Holy Ghost has come up unto you. Amen. Peter did not have the Holy Ghost when they took Jesus as prisoner. Peter never had the Holy Ghost. But when Peter received the Holy Ghost and they cautioned him, do not speak or preach or teach in this name Jesus. Peter wants go. He says, we cannot help but speak of what we see. So when it is right, Peter said, to, to obey man or to obey God, judge yourself. But I cannot, we cannot refrain from preaching what we have known. That is the boldness. That is the boldness that the Holy Ghost gave us. Boldness. Fearlessness. That is the power of the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. So we know who God is through His Word. Thomas did not realize. Thomas did not understand. Thomas said, Unless I can put my hand in his side and his feet in his arm, I will not believe. He was doubtful. Many people are doubtful who Jesus is. But when Thomas came, when he came, they were in a closed room, and Jesus just, because his God, he just healed it. He had the power. They were in a closed room, and Jesus just appeared. And Jesus came to Thomas and said, Here, Thomas, here's my hand. Put your hand in my hand. See. Put your hand in my side. See. Thomas' eyes were open. Thomas said, My Lord and my God. Praise the Lord. Praise. So the name 
What is his name? You can't just say God. Because there are God's many. I think mean, one time I looked and there was about two thousand God in the world today. Hmm. I took that. Some worship is born, some worship is the Athena, the Hindus are worshiping the cow. Some worship the hill, some worship the, the grass. There are lots of people who can't even come and hear them. Oh, you, we have to identify our God by His name. Amen. Many, many, many gods. Thousands and thousands of gods. On tree God. Yes. People worship the tree. People worship the sun, people worship the star, people worship the moon, the same God. Worship anything. But what is your God? What is your God? What is his name? What is his name? Moses wanted to know. He couldn't just go out to Egypt and say, God, send me. They were not saying, please stop. What is his name? But God identified himself. And his name was I am. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Is he that sorry? In the week of the middle of the week, the John spoke about him. In the book of the seventh seal, I call him out. Rose of Shannon, the Prince of Peace. Isaiah says, The name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Everlasting Father, Almighty God, the Prince of Peace. No, no, no. We wonder now. We wonder now. God said, We make man in his image. Man was made in the image of God. So, if man was made in the image of God, man must look like God, and God must look like man. Am I right? So, why is it so hard? So many people don't understand. I used to, I used to have geophysics in my house. Many times, when I sit down and talk to them. Many of them, they don't understand the concept. Seven years later, they don't understand the concept. This is revealed to us through the Spirit. You read the Bible a hundred times, and let the Spirit of God open it. Open. You could read it a hundred times, you will never get it in The Spirit of God is revealing to you. The Spirit of God. Jesus and the Holy Ghost come it will reveal everything to you. Yes. The Spirit is important. It will reveal everything to you. Yes. Not just reading the Bible. Go to feel of your God college and things wrong with it. But you need the Spirit of God to open your understanding. When Peter was at like, when Jesus said to, to, the, to those disciples at this year, who do men say that I am? They began to say, Thou art Elijah, or John the Baptist, or some of the prophets. But Jesus said, I think this who do he say? Who do you say that I am?